Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. And where would we be without the loony bin that is MSNBC? Let's have a look at Joe Scarborough, latest uh, delusional meltdown. Iran, why did Iran do what Iran did, knowing what the outcome was going to be? Because they didn't want to screw with the United States of America. Say what now? The Iranian regime raining down hundreds of missiles and suicide drones on Israel is a sign that they're scared of the Biden administration, they're scared of America. Yeah, that makes uh, perfect sense. Not at all the ravings of an irrational imbecile. Now, let's listen to Joe claim that it's conservatives who hate America, not the anti-West left. This is a world... They give their viewers anything to try to make America look bad. They are obsessed with trashing America when America is stronger, more powerful than ever before. Its economy is stronger and more powerful than ever before. Its economy is stronger than ever before. It's standing in the world better than ever before. Is this man gaslighting himself. I'm starting to fear for his health. Even some of his own panellists look a little concerned about this deranged rant. But you would never know this because they are fed a steady stream of hate America first rhetoric. <laughs> if that guy is looking around, perhaps wondering when the men in white coats will appear... Now, let's check in with trans activist and brand ambassador Dylan Mulvaney. Here is more girlhood cosplaying. The kids have a saying called FAFO. F around and find out. And that can be neatly applied to this next lefty losing it, who was very bold making death threats, but it soon ended in tears, literal tears. Let's have a look at Riddhi Patel threatening the Bakersfield mayor and councillors for not supporting a ceasefire. Strap yourselves in for this one. I don't have faith that you'll do this. You guys are all horrible human beings and Jesus probably would have killed you himself. And the thing is, though, it's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years that none of you care because you, got, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. And I understand that you guys are all horrible people. I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the global south practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you mother So regardless of whether you elect people into office, they'll backstab you, they'll let you die, and for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors, we'll see you at your house, we'll murder you. Uh, yeah, that's Saul Patel arrested immediately. It turns out you can't just threaten to murder people in their own homes just because you're a lefty losing it. Ms Patel, Ms Patel, that was a threat, what you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that. And the next time we saw Ms Patel, uh, she wasn't so bold. No, she was weeping, and as they say, fafo. A deputy public defender entered not guilty pleas on Patel's behalf to eight counts of threatening a public official and 10 counts of making terroristic threats. And more mass disruptions across the U.S. with pro-Palestinian protesters shutting down roads, highways, bridges. Here they block both directions of the Golden Gate Bridge for hours. And it's not just the US. Look at these lefties in Canada pledging their allegiance to a terror leader. Yes, Sinwa. That's the leader of Hamas, one of the masterminds of the October 7 attack. But in Montreal, they are chanting, we are your men, Sinwa. Disgusting. Disgusting. Let's take a look now at how these fed up travellers prevented from reaching O'Hare International Airport responded to the protesters blocking the roads.
Yeah, I can understand why she gave them the finger. They're forced to drag their bags across lanes of traffic to try to reach the airport on foot because these lawless lefties feel entitled to block roads, disrupt plans, destroy people's livelihoods or just a holiday they may have saved for years to, to afford. The law-abiding citizens seem to have very little protection there. It's the lunatics running the asylum in Chicago.